Mike has an hang on my big man. Jesus fucking. No, 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 not you. Mike, Mike, Mike. Listen, I hear what you're saying. You got nothing to be concerned about. But it's moving forward as planned. Look, I'm not happy about a delay either, Mike. Uh, I'm going through a patchy space. Hang on one second. God damn it, you are fucking beautiful. Thank you. Call me. It gave the architect an opportunity to give us an entire new level. You know what that means. Okay, you don't know what it means, but you know me, and I know what it means, so I can explain it to you. Mike, look, I didn't mean to offend you. If I did, I apologize. Lucky for you, I found additional investors that put in twice what you put in. That's what allowed us the additional level. Ten extra units. I'll tell you what that does. Now you invest X, it's all good, good. You don't get a return of Y. You get a return of Y and Z, because that's how I roll, bitches. Does that sound good? All right, buddy, I'll talk to you soon. Forget, I will be there. You better. And I'll see you later. Stand the sound of your fucking voice. Do we have an understanding?
Yes. You receive the details? You understand what I'm offering? You agree to the fee? Good. I'll forward you the address. Fuck are you, Steve? Fuck, Rose, listen to me. God. I called you three times, and I tried leaving a message for you at the hotel in LA, but you're not booked in. Rose. I just handed you a quarter of a million dollars. Do not treat me like a cheap whore. Rose! Like you needed to get into my pants to get my husband's money? Rose, Rose, I do a lot of shit for money. Fucking you is not one of them. Rose, I just need your help, baby. Okay, hey, what's going on, Steve? Rose. Rose, it's Peter Farrell! I'm in a fucking basement somewhere! Okay, you're scaring me? Stop it and just tell me where you are. God damn it, Rose! Rose, send help! Rose, the mother. Rose! I'm not fuck. You wanna tell her the truth? What is he talking about? What fucking truth? It's gonna kill me, Rose, I swear to God. Rose, I'm not. I'm sorry, Rose. Steve can't talk right now. Steve, I do not like this. Same way. Rose, call the cops! Run! Why? Why what? I can't tell if you're serious. I'm clear my eyes why the fucking sky is blue. I'm fucking zip tied to a chair in a fucking basement. I thought we were friends.
I can fucking hear you walking around up there. Listen, whatever I did, I'm sorry. Is it about money? If it is, does you give me a bank and a routing number? I swear to God, it'll be in your account tomorrow. You can talk to me, Peter! Come on, buddy! I was gonna ask you to be my best man! Can I help you? Maybe you can. Maybe you can't. Are you feral? I'm sorry, I don't know you, so I'm gonna have to ask you to leave. You might not recognize my associate here, but I have a feeling you know who I am. Mr. Douglas. I take that as proof that you're the one who sent the email regarding our mutual friend, Steve Walsh. Do you have any trouble finding the place? Uh, that's what GPS is for. Now, I believe we have some business to attend to. I'm sure you'll understand that in my line of business, I have to be careful about dealing with issues on a personal level. I'm sure it's very difficult for you. It's very diplomatic of you there, Farrell. There's no need to sugarcoat things here. Unless you're wearing a wire. I'm just fucking with you. I'm just, I'm just, it's a joke. You can laugh, come on. <laughs> now where is he, is he down there? Yeah. Mr. Guy, Mr. Walsh. Hello, buddy? Hey, Walshie! Sean. God damn it. If you got a cell phone, you gotta call the cops. Motherfucker put me in a trunk. I swear, I don't even know what the fuck. We're not here to save you. You owe me a phone call. Yeah, 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 yeah. I know, I, I, I know. I owe you a phone call. Mm -hmm. Look, I just found out last night that the funds didn't go through. Look, the day after I authorized a transfer, I got called to Minneapolis. My mother got arrested. She got diagnosed with Alzheimer's. And... Christy, Sean, you of all people should understand about family. It, 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 it... God damn it, why didn't you call me? We could have got back to the table. It do doesn't even matter, okay? Look, I figured out the location. I swear to God, I, I got M. Night Shyamalan to direct this. The only thing I need is another audio audition tape, and we're good to go. No, 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 that's enough, out of you. you can just stop fucking talking, okay? But the, I swear to God. Not another no, word. No. You need to understand something, Walsh. Your time for talking is over. Now, I know this is gonna be hard for you, but I need you to listen to what I have to say. When I say listen, I mean it. If your lips even part before I'm finished, Lucas will cut you from ear to ear. Okay? Uh, yeah. Uh, did you know that Mr. Farrell and I have something in common? No. No. Don't answer. You came to me over a year ago with a business offer, but you didn't approach me like a man would. You didn't walk in through the front door and make an appointment. No. You came at me through my only blind spot. 
You use my daughter. You use my Audrey. You filled her head with dreams of fame and stardom. She believed in you. She loved you. And I trusted in the faith she had in you. She lost my money. Huh? Now, I didn't lose as much as the guy sitting above us right now, no. He lost everything, all because of the promises you couldn't deliver. Now, don't get me wrong, I don't give a fuck about Mr. Farrell and his misfortunes, but I need you to understand how that brought us here, to this basement. You took away his pride, his money and fame, and you wiped your ass with it. He lost his wife and his daughter because of you. You pushed a man to the limits with all your lies, and this is a result, Walsh. No? Time to bait the piper. Got him, Lucas. No. No. You remember Lewis the Frog? That's okay, you can answer. You remember him? Yeah, yeah. Fuck, he was fake French accent just to get laid. Yeah, yeah, that's the guy. You know what happened to him? No, I get no idea. I ain't seen him. And you'll never see him again. You want to know why? Lewis stole from me eight kilos of cocaine without so much as a thank you or a kiss my ass. Sounds like you got what you fucking deserved. Then. Well, I'm so glad you understand the situation I'm in. See, no matter who you are, nobody steals from me. You pay for what you took. I didn't steal from you, Sean. I invested your money. You need to understand the risk level, what you're comfortable with. Because oh. that's a film business. All right, well, the only person who needs to understand anything here is you. You stole from me, and now it's time to pay for what you took. So. Before I leave, I'm going to inflict a hundred grand's worth of pain on you. What the fuck? What the fuck are you doing? Okay, wait, wait, wait! You didn't have to remind me this morning, and you don't have to remind me now. She's my daughter, too. I know it's her birthday. No. Look, I will be there for seven. I have passed at the latest. I just have some stuff I have to deal with. No, I'm not drinking again. If you have to know, I'm writing. Joan. Joan. I can't argue with you right now, okay? I'll see you tonight. Why would I do that? Look in the case. I can pay you back. I've heard that before. Well, I swear to God, I can pay you back today, all of it, with interest. Bullshit. Just look in the fucking case! There's a check in there. Checks? Who the fuck uses checks these days? Robert Waldron. Ah, oh, you've moved the scams into the big leagues. It's a scam. It's not a fucking scam. It's a serious business venture. It's a holiday resort in Dubai. I get you on the ground floor if you want. I swear to God. 250000 That's a decent return on my investment. I can get it digitally transferred. So we're good? Yeah. We're good, but... You still owe Audrey an apology. Yeah. Hey! What? Cut me loose! You said we're good! I'm not the only one you got business with. Hey! The fuck are you going? I have a feeling you're not getting out of here. No! God damn it! Get the fuck! Shut! Fuck you! With him? Yeah. He's beaten, but he's still breathing. Well, then I 
our business is done. And we were never here. Of course. <clears throat> Erase what you recorded. I'm right in the middle. The folders too. Sure. Hmm. Yeah, he, uh, the package is secure. No, I'm sorry, Senator, the fee isn't negotiable. All right, then. I'll forward the address to this number. script you were gonna help me make my movie what the fuck you mean i don't believe in your script of course i believe in your script i'm the one that fucking suggested you get an agent that was me i should get an agent an agent because it's fucking good you saw me as an opportunity listen man i never forced you to do shit not once no you just told me everything I needed to hear so that I would. My daughter's college fund. Second mortgage on the house. I gave you everything. The fuck am I supposed to know about your financial situation? If I'd known you ran that close to the fucking edge, maybe I wouldn't have... You wouldn't what? You wouldn't what? <laughs> that, that, that's... Let me ask you. Would you have stopped me from taking that first drink? Would you have stopped me from being an asshole to my wife? Would you have stopped me from getting in the car that day? What car? We're done talking. The fuck are you talking about? Pete! Pete! How the fuck am I supposed to know that you're an asshole to your wife? Maybe you give her a coat when she's cold. Maybe you hold the door open. But maybe you don't pull her hair when you bang her. God! <laughs> they like that shit, you fucking pussy!
Steve. Steve. There's somebody else here to see you. Please tell me something about Mother Christ. Take enough shit for one day. You were always one for a good joke, see? And there was a time when I would have laughed with you. Holy shit, Andrew. See, you said you're the Democratic poster boy. Yeah, well, we were both a lot younger then. Yeah. You mind if we had a moment alone? We have some business to discuss in private. You don't have to stick a gun, do you? I mean, cocksucker punched me in the nose a couple times. Just uh, fucking tastes like blood, you know? Yeah, I do. I can't. I appreciate it. Sure you want something from me, right? Do you remember when we first met? <laughs> yeah, you fucking weirdo. The Italian restaurant, I, I remember the name starts with a fucking C. Carpaccio. Yeah, that uh, nice beef with the stilt and the gravy and the, the waitress with the <laughs> legs all the way up to the fucking ass, I remember. I got my face buried in that ass that night. Yeah, <laughs> fucking glorious. What you told me that night? I... We talked about a number of things that night, buddy. I, I mean, half the conversations were under the influence of, you know, I... And let me remind you. You promised the ring off your finger that you could triple my campaign money in less than 72 hours. Yeah, I remember the conversation. I remember distinctively the conversation. It was the, the Flomec deal. Of course, I mean, it was a fucking rock solid deal. Mm -hmm. Each and every one of us were on the fucking ground floor, yeah. Then why did I end up with an empty account and no ring from your family? And for the same fucking reason that I did. No one in their right mind could have foreseen a CEO being brought up on charges for insider trading. Still. If the deal presented itself today, I'd recommend you do it. Still. You promised me that ring. There is no ring! You're right! There is no ring. Then what? Then it looks like I'm taking the fucking finger. No, no, no I can pay you! God damn it! Yeah, continue. Fuck, you gonna cut my finger? You put in a hundred thousand with a promise for three return. Fine! God damn it! Plus interest. Fine, what kind of interest do you want? That was a while back. How about a 50? Fine. 50 grit done. Fine. Fuck! God damn it! Just cut me loose. Just we'll, we'll go right now to Grand National. You just no. there's nothing I can do to help you. You gotta let go to the bank if you want the money, buddy. Fuck's sake! It just so happens I don't travel around with 350 fucking grand cash in my pocket. It's my fucking... Give me a phone. Give me a phone, I'll call her. The fuck do you mean you don't have a phone? I have one, but it's not here with me. Why? I'm at the office because they are fucking traceable and I was never fucking here, you genius. So what then, Andrew? What, what, what? What, 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 just get to, what, tell me what the fuck you want. What is, what is it that you fucking want? Tell me. You're clearly here for a fucking reason. We politicians, we get a bad rap nowadays. We're accused of talking too much. We make no decisions or the wrong ones. We spend too much or we don't develop enough programs. We don't defend our country, but we overspend on the military and so forth and so on and blah, blah, blah. You get where I'm going here? No, and I don't know what the fuck you're talking you about. Know, of having no accountability. What the fuck does that have to do with anything? Accountability? 
It has to do with everything. Sooner or later, we will all be judged on what we have or what we have not done during our lives. Fine, I give you ten extra bonus points, you get me out now. <laughs> Access to a fucking bonus <laughs> round. What the fuck? Yeah, you're a funny man. <laughs> That's funny. What the fuck do you want? I'll tell you the truth. I don't give a shit about the hundred K I lost or the return I never got. Then what? Acts and consequences. What? My opponent ran on this bullshit platform of cutting taxes and lowering costs. <laughs> oh, God, that's crazy. Cutting taxes, lowering costs. That sounds... Don't you fucks up elections every four years it's anyway? It's too fucking late for that. <sighs> no. There was a bridge. It was in bad disrepair, needed to be torn down and rebuilt. My opponent, the new administration, he decided to fix it. Just long enough for it to last for another four years. Well, it didn't. It collapsed six months later. Just as a school bus full of children were crossing it, 23 died. I can, you can't believe 17 families never stop mourning their dear angels. Okay, you know, your logic train just skipped a few tracks to land there. If only had that money, I'd have won that election and none of that would have. How the fuck do you make that leap? Are you fucking kidding me? You can't pin that shit. I didn't kill anyone. No, you didn't kill those kids. You didn't topple that bridge. You didn't cut the budget. You didn't lose the election. But your actions provoked all the above. <laughs> what do you want, Andrew? <laughs> what the fuck do you want? Just tell me. How much? It's money, right? How much? Just give me a number. Stop the bullshit and give me a fucking number. Have the fucking balls to give me a number. What do you want? I'll pay you. What? what? Well, are you gonna pay me? With what? Money you stole from other people? <laughs> No. Did I really just hear a politician talk to me about spending other people's money? Fuck you! No, fuck you! Fuck you, fuck motherfucker! You, you piece of shit! What you I fucking got? Fuck you! you. <laughs> damn it! You! you. <laughs> God damn it! Thank you for that, Mr. Farrell. Cathartic. I quit when I stopped drinking. It's a good idea.
be, as discussed. You said 25. Dark in here. Much better. Jesus Christ. You look like shit. I gotta admit I'm not having my best of days, baby. Well, I always warned you that someday your lying and your cheating would catch up with you. You paying him? I don't understand. Are you paying him? For time with me, you paying him money. <laughs> Please, Christ, tell me you're not buying it. It was fucking craziness. What craziness is that? Oh, come on. There's a lot of bad shit going on in his life that he fucking blames me for. It has fuck all to do with me. There's a life in me I can't see how he connects the fucking dots. Like you did right by me. No. You used to like that. <laughs> or I thought you did anyway. You know I like it, baby. I love that shit. <laughs> Nobody could ever fake a dick that hard. <laughs> but you know we were always a temporary thing. You know that. I did. consenting adults and you're fucking married you're never gonna leave Zach Christ I guess I just got mixed signals yeah yeah memory lane well I'm tired of this year Just gotta get me out of here. 
That sounds like something you like. That's only something you want. You want that? Is that what you fucking want? Why? Why? Let's go with the two fucking holes in my legs. But really, baby, it's because I've been serving you platters of cock that you don't deserve to be in the same fucking bed with. You see, I like you, Sonya, and you fucking disgust me at the same time. <laughs> Blame it on my hemorrhaging Madonna whore complex. starts to stink the place up. No, 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 don't even think about it. I got this. You sit tight, all right? It's the least I could do.
Where in the fuck do you think you're? Oh, oh shit! <laughs> I think you mean you need to go inside. Now. <laughs> with your buddy Steve. I don't drink it. What if I insist? There you go now. You get into the spirit of things, huh? So, uh... Fuck you, I told you I don't drink it. Ah. Yeah. Well, you see, that's not what you said downstairs. See what you said downstairs, you said that I drove him back to the bottle. That's what you said. Yeah, a lot's happened since I changed. Oh! <laughs> you don't say, Peter. I mean, fuck. Since Peter, I knew. I mean, he'd never kidnap somebody, invite people over to torture him. That never happened. We're not friends. Semantics. Tell me this. The fuck happened in your life that brought you here to this table with me holding court over your fate? The fuck happened to you? Still. Oh, yeah. Daddy's little girl, huh? Tell me what she do. She do something naughty. She get out late. What she do? <laughs> 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 Joe and I were fighting all the time. Mostly about my drinking. And she worked all day. I drank. Estelle was at the mall with her friends, and you don't ask me to go pick her up. <laughs> I know I shouldn't have stopped for a drink, but She went through the window. 
and shit like a rag doll. But fuck you. And what? That's all. That's all my fault, huh? It's my fault you invested in the film business, huh? Which requires balls, you fucking pussy. It's my fault you bought into the bullshit. It's my fault you didn't listen to me. It's my fault you believe in Santa Claus to eat. Fuck you! You didn't need those. Sooner or later, I'm gonna need the use of both of my hands and. Forgive me, but I just don't trust you to cooperate. <laughs> I know. It's my own fucking insecurity, right? Zip tie your ankles. I can, baby. Just tell me where. 876 Brown Road 78622. You got it down? I got it, baby. I'll be there as fast as I can. Do you need me to call the police? No, 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 no. I got it all under control. Rose, Rose. Where are those red panties, baby? I'm gonna need to fuck you. I'll wear your favorite panties. Don't worry, baby. Time to evaluate all that shit you've been carrying with you, you know? That bad feeling. I don't know, you know, it's not healthy to keep that shit locked up. I mean, buddy, don't get me wrong. I understand, you know, you're losing your daughter. Oh, no fucking hell. I mean, if it was your own fault for being a goddamn alcoholic, <laughs> fucking, I mean, that would fuck me up too, right? Jesus Christ. See it, do you? You ruin every life that you touch. Ruin? Fuck off. I try to help people. I try to improve their situation. You gotta use the fucking mind. Oh. Well, let me tell you something. That's really rich from the guy who wrote a script about a kidnap and he's actually carrying out. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, I read that shit, and it's fucking glorious. Tell me this, though. Tell me this, dude. Do, do you and I need an agreement? You know, because I'm actually in the story, like, life rights type shit. I think we do. But we'll get back to that. I both know you're gonna kill me. Just get it over with. 
despite everything we've been through. I really think you and I can be friends. And I also need you to get my money back. <coughs> yeah, that doesn't feel good, does it? <coughs> So much better here. Look at that thing. Oh shit. You're gonna be alright. Actually think that hurt you more than it hurt me. Oh, fuck you. You really don't like me, do you? I'm glad they're starting to sink in. Luckily enough, we don't have to like each other. Okay, if you would be so kind, sir. I'm gonna need your password. Fuck yourself. Fuck yourself. Just give it a try. Okay. Well, let's see, who's showing up next? Come on, buddy, it's your guest list. Who's next? Miss Ellis, she next. Come on, buddy. She's not coming. Refuse the invite, huh? Fucking out of girl, Miss Ellis. See, not everybody's blaming me for the fuck ups. Now she wanted to come. She's in Australia. On business. Well, that leaves Lou and Mike. And I spoke to Mike this morning, so it must be Lou. Right? <laughs> there you go, I know it was Lou. <laughs> it's fucking Lou. <sighs> well. You and I are gonna be ready for him, buddy. What time is he arriving? What time is it now? It's quarter past two. He's late. Yeah, that's Lou, all right. Hey, Petey. I haven't tell you about the time I met Lou Michaels. Fuck was just getting started in real estate, right? A ton of fucking cash. Not a molecule of confidence. And he needed me to find him a piece of commercial real estate for this mall project. And I wanted to help him. Like I wanted to help you, you know? I like people. I'm a people person. This isn't a good time. 
I can see that. You look like shit. And this is exactly the time you told me to be here. Uh, I'm sorry, Mr. Michaels. Plans have changed. Uh -uh. After our last conversation, you assured me everything was good for her. I paid your fee in advance as agreed. I want what I paid for. A deal's a deal. I suggest you take him to see Walsh. He's dead. You what? He is dead! You're telling me I paid good money to put a beat on that son of a bitch. And now he's dead. <laughs> I gotta see this. Fucking kidding me. Okay. Is this some kind of joke, Farrell? Kill a man, Peter, you gotta make sure he's dead. Just an FYI. with them, what you can help me do. What if I said, fuck you! Then I shoot you in the fucking face. said he was dead. You know, I think Mark Twain actually said it best, something to the effect of the reports of my death have been greatly exaggerated. I think he wrote it, actually, but you get the point. And all they look like shit, I think you can see that I'm alive and kicking. And though I don't think you'd be too surprised to find out that I'm pretty upset with you, buddy. You shot me. I did. And that's normally not something I would do. See, Leo, I don't think you came here to cuddle with me, did you, buddy? And it turns out, I brand the loyalties. And that really fucking hurts my feelings, Lou. You son of a bitch, Walsh. See, I like that. What do you want? See, that's what I like about you, Lou. Full fucking throttle. It's a whole business, buddy. 
You don't cross dress. You get the motherfucking sex change. That's what you do, Lou. Yeah. And you boys are flapping your lips. Touche. I mean, he's right, you know. My therapist even says I have a sort of emotional Tourette's. You ask me for money. I don't ask anybody for at the time, so. <sighs> nah. You just love hearing the sound of your own bullshit spatting voice. Well, that may be, you know. But I'm gonna tell you just like I told her. You never interrupt the one doing the fucking. Because they control the pace and the depth. <laughs> What do you want, Mosh? You know what, buddy? This might surprise you a bit, but I am in a bit of a financial situation that I'm hoping you can help me out with. <laughs> ask me for money. I don't ask anybody for money, Lou. I'm inquiring about your desire to invest with me, and you should consider it an investment. Think very long and hard about it, because it secures your future in this world. Go fuck yourself. Well, it looks like he needs a bit of persuading. I don't know how he's talked you around, but whatever he's offered you. He's the one with the gun, asshole. Hit him in his knee. Hit him in his knee, I swear to God, I'll shoot you both in the fucking balls. No, sir. Leave my family out of this. I will leave your family out of it, Lou. You got my word. You know, it's the one part of you that I'm actually jealous of. Because I don't have one myself, you know. But I've read about them in books, and they seem like a pretty wonderful thing to be a part of. We don't have to do this, buddy. We just transfer the funds into my account, and we're done. Simple business transaction. It's never gonna happen, Walsh. Oh, it's gonna happen. You want me to tell you why it's gonna happen? Because phonies like you always put self-preservation above loyalty. Hit him again. Just give him what he wants. Hit him again! I'm not gonna say it again. Password, Lou. I can't. Not that I can't wash. Hit him again. Five. 
GX. Six, seven. Mm. Fuck. Okay, in. came all the way out here for a $60,000 man deal that went sideways 10 fucking years ago. It's $3 million sitting in this account, unattended to. I told you. I told you it's not my money. And that land deal never was any good, and you know it. You lied about the planning consent, and like an idiot, I bought into it. See, I don't like hearing this shit. You, you have no idea, idea what it takes to put a deal together. You can't wrap your fucking head around it. And does anybody ever offer their hand in gratitude? Shake my hand like a fucking gentleman. No one does. And I'll tell you something else. That land permit for yours is <clears throat> guaranteed to me. And how did that turn out? Yeah, I take that personal failing every single day. Well, you fucks run for the trees. But if a hurdle pops up in front of me, I jump over and I search for a profit. But you fucks have already run home crying. Let's do a little calculation here, shall we? <clears throat> We take into consideration most wages, personal trauma, billable hours. <clears throat> I don't know. Seem like a fair price deal. I can't. <sighs> Antelina will kill me. Oh, come on. I'm leaving you with a quarter million dollars. <clears throat> That's plenty enough money for you to disappear. You can go and fucking hide. Long before he finds out you're trying to shove your little cock up his butt. He's gonna kill you no matter what you do. I'd appreciate some silence here. I'm gonna try to have a conversation. Right. And take that money. Antolini will come after you right after he's put a bullet in my head. You see, I'm gonna let you both in on a little secret. Uh, Antolini's gonna come after me anyway. Uh, as soon as he realizes the Dubai land deal fell through. Even though I have a wonderful contingency program. But just like you, that fat fuck wouldn't jog towards profit if it meant he was gonna break a fucking sweat. You're fucking crazy. Mm. I'll tell you this, though. After you mm. approve the transfer of the funds, I'll be rich and I'll be crazy, which is good, because I'm gonna need some surgical procedures. Mm. You see that I seem to be missing one of my favorite fingers right there. <laughs> You're both as good as fucking bad. You again. You know, the only reason I'm here is because you couldn't accept your own personal fucking failings. This loser written all over your fucking DNA. Just keep your fucking mouth shut. So little. Round two, buddy. I'm gonna need a confirmation code. We don't wanna do this, Walsh. I got some cash back at the office. It's not three million, but. And loyalty to an early league. I don't think it's gonna end up though. So tell me this. What kind of value do you place on your life? What? With the money you said you had back at the safe. Is there enough in there to buy your life? Shit. I don't know. Because if the amount doesn't match what's on that screen, uh, I need a confirmation code. You let him do this. Self-preservation to make it a strong comeback. <clears throat> Pick up the pliers. Pick up the fucking pliers right now. I'm not gonna say it again. Pick the fucking pliers up! <clears throat> Hi, Steve. There's two hundred thousand dollars in cash sitting upstairs. You need this? The fuck do you know what I need? <clears throat> Makes you think you know anything about me. Maybe it's not about the money anymore. Maybe it's about the fact that you drug me out here so you can watch others take out their anger on me because you don't have the balls to do it face to fucking face. I'll sit the fuck down, tough guy. If you ever found the balls to toe up to me a vagina would swallow whole. I'm gonna count to five. 
If I don't get a confirmation code, you need to take those pliers. You can remove a molar from his mandible. One! No! You do it. Two! Get the fuck away from me. I need those four numbers, Lou! Three! Just fucking, fucking shoot me, man. Four! Get the fuck get away from me. I can't! Five! Pull it! God damn you! Pull it! Fuck it. me do this. Pharaoh! Fucking do it. Don't. Don't you fucking dare. Self-preservation, buddy. Reigning, defending, undisputed. Thank you, Lou. That's a lean that's gonna kill me. Script on your laptop. <clears throat> Found on your computer. What about it? I think you still plan on doing it. I mean, because if you are, I know a guy who funds that type of film. That's all he does, night and day. I mean, if he's still interested. Are you seriously fucking asking me that? Well, why else would you fucking write it if you don't plan on making it into a movie? That makes some fucking sense. My sponsor. Your sponsor? Yeah. After the crash, I joined AA. My sponsor thought writing about it would give me closure. Keep me from drinking. Yeah, I guess that makes sense. But tell me this. Whose idea was it to act it out, huh? I mean, I'm taking it that's all you, right? Funny. Once I started writing, I couldn't help but imagine doing all those things to you. Oh, I bet there's all kind of things you want to do to me. Am I right? Throw that shit up.
daddy wanted to be here, baby girl. But he's busy. He says he's writing again. I hope he is. It'll be good for him. All of your friends miss you so much. I love you so much, baby girl. Rosie, baby. Hi. I am here. Maybe you gotta get me out of here. Okay, okay. I'm gonna take care of you. You're fine. You're fine. Okay. Ha! 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 There's something about you. Ha! Uh, Rosie? I like faces. Ah, Rosie! Listen. No, baby, 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 listen to me. You. Listen to me, baby. <laughs> baby. Mm. Listen. Mm -hmm. I swear to God, you. I fuck the Catholic right out of you as soon as I get better, baby. I just, I can't, I can't, it hurts. It hurts. Ah, 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 baby. Nah, ah, ha, baby. Nah, just, ah, ha. Come on, Rosie. No. Rosie, Rosie, baby, you gotta help me. Baby, you gotta help me get out of here. You use my money to pay off Sean Douglas. What are you talking about, baby? Where'd you get that? That doesn't matter. No, 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 baby. Peter made that shit. He's a fucking liar. He fabricated that he showed it to me. Mm. He's. I called the bank.